welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have another Pull and Bear haul. Like I always say, I do these once a month. I love Pull and Bear. The quality of the clothing is always amazing. So I'm lucky to work with them every single month. However, I'm going to be very, very upfront and honest. I've already tried on all of these items, so I know how things work. Things that did work for me, things that didn't really work for me. My light that I've got on is about to run out of charge, so I'm going to have to turn that off. Hopefully, it's not going to make too much of a difference. Oh! That's not fun. It has actually changed the camera completely. Oh well, we're just gonna move on and get on with it. So yeah, we've got a few different bits in here. We've got some accessories, mostly like summery spring kind of bits. Yeah, we've got a little bit of everything going on, I guess. So I hope that you do enjoy. Like I've already said, I have tried everything on so I can give you like my honest opinions because some things worked and other things not so much. Gonna start off with the accessories. I got this little hat. I just thought I need something that's gonna keep my eyes covered whilst I'm away. Obviously, it's gonna be very sunny. Sun is gonna be out all the time. And you know, I love to wear my hair up. I need to slick it back a lot because I just have naturally greasy hair. But sometimes I'm really bad for doing like the middle part in and then burning my scalp. So I decided to get a new cap. This one says Rodeo Drive and then Nan uh, uh, 35 on the bottom of it. It's really cute. It's very good because because the material's not like hard. It's gonna fold up really nice and small in my backpack, which is exactly what I need because I just wanna take like one cap really, which is why I went for this one because it's nice, it's cream. It's got a little bit of detail to it. So it's got something going on, but it's not too much. It's just great for every day. The color of it's gonna go with absolutely everything. And I must say this sat in my head really nicely. Pretty curved at the front obviously it's not a flat cap that's not really my vibe but it's nice and curved without being like too curved or too tight it is adjustable at the back so you can just pull it and adjust it to fit you the only thing i will say you know with these when they're meant to like go back in the hole i can never ever seem to get it to go in i don't know if anybody else has that problem but it just ends up sitting like that with every single cap i've ever bought so that could just be a me problem Oh, to be fair, I haven't done it fully, but I've got it there a lot better. So you can adjust it, which is great. Obviously, I'm going to take this off. I just thought I'd show you it because to be honest, I've literally just thrown it on my head and then filmed this video. So I will be taking that off, obviously. But yeah, I just really like it. It's really nice quality. It's flimsy, but it's still quite structured when it's actually on your head, which is nice. It does come in one size, but like I said, you can adjust it at the back because it's absolutely fine. And yeah, it's just a nice little staple to take away with me. I'm very, very impressed. For like 12, 13 pounds, I think the quality is really nice on this. Like the sturdiness of the front bit is really, really nice. Sticking with accessories, I got like this. I want to call it like a shopper bag. It's very nice and big. I wanted like a nice tote bag to take away with me that's going to fit everything in it. This one I thought was really nice. It's a faux leather material. It does button up at the top, so you can just unbutton it. It does still have a bit of padding in it, Actually. but it has so much room in it like I don't think you can really see that well on camera because it's not got anything in it at the minute but it has so much room you can literally fit everything you could possibly need like laptops my iPad's gonna be in there for hand books keys phone purse literally everything that you could need lipsticks I could go on forever there's so much room in here and then it does have like a little zip fit again which is really nice size on the side so any little personal items you can chuck in there the only thing I will say about this which I'm pretty disappointed with and it's the only thing putting me off because I was going to use this as like my personal bag because so I have my backpack on and then put this over my shoulder because it's full of the whole way it's very slidey it's a pretty soft like slidey material anyway which just makes it really hard for it to stay on your shoulder like already can you see that i've just put it on my shoulder and it's already fallen off like it's gone from here to there and that for me is just like a little bit of a put off because obviously i need something that's going to stay there if i've got a backpack on the last thing i need is to be having to worry about that falling off every two seconds i don't believe that this is going to stay on me very well which is a pretty big letdown because tote bags at the best of times can be a little bit annoying especially when you've got certain material of coats on they just do slide off this is like a cotton jumper so this in theory should be like perfect things just to stay on and it's sliding off with that so i can imagine other materials just causing me so many problems the actual look of the bag i'm really impressed with i love the size of it it's just like a classic staple bag i feel like for school college uni anything like that this is a great bag to go for i just wish it had some sort of different material on the underside just so it stayed in place more that is my only letdown and i do sort of wish it had a zip as well because i don't really just trust this one button especially considering it's such a deep bag and you can fit so much in it so that is my only little downfall 
with it. I still like it, it's a nice bag. I think it was like £25, which for a bag this size, I don't think that's bad at all. I don't think it can come away with me, unfortunately, because I just think it's going to cause me more problems than it's worth if I have a backpack on. If I didn't have a big backpack on, then I'd just get on with it and just hold on to it if I needed to. And to be fair, I'll probably get used to it and find a comfortable way where it does sit and stay in place, but at the minute, it's not happening, so a little bit disappointed. Next up, I got myself another score. Now, I am a big fan of a score. I love them so much. I've spoken about them recently in a couple of videos because I have been buying a few more. But I just think they're great because you can dress them up so easily, but then you can wear them more chill, day to day, chuck them on, on the go, and you're fully covered. It looks like you've got a skirt on, but you don't have to worry when you sat down. I went to Bongo's Bingo the other week, and I wore a skirt from Zara whilst I was there, and it was just a really nice feeling mix of still felt dressed up but I didn't have to worry all night like you was on the tables up and down and you don't have to think about it you literally can just chuck it on and go which is exactly what I want so for me Scots are a lifesaver I absolutely love them this one is like a like a sportswear gym wear kind of material very nice very stretchy very comfortable when it's on I got this in my true set and I'm really glad that I did because like I said it does have a lot of stretch to it and then it comes in different colours which I believe is on the tag yeah so I, I'm pretty sure I'm mad this one like this bluey grey colour oh maybe maybe that one I can't remember now, but I feel like I went for the one with a blue turn to it. So it comes in different colours, quite like neutral, deep, cool colours. But I just thought this was nice, a little bit different, but still going to go with everything. It's a really nice length on me. It's not too short, but I can like lift it and have it quite high waist, which is nice. The only thing that I will say is that the shorts underneath are pretty long. Like usually they're very much a hot pant, like very, very short underneath, which is what you want really. These ones are pretty long. Like when I first put them on, the shorts were longer than the skirt, which doesn't look great. But then I did a little bit of adjusting and it was absolutely fine. Again, this is in the exact same material. Very nice, very soft. It does feel a little bit thick when it's on, which is my only little worry when it's really, really hot. But again, one thing you don't have to worry about is any like chafing and things like that because obviously you've got that extra lining of material which just stops that happening, which honestly, that is the worst feeling in the world on holiday, especially if you're like me as a person and you're like exploring, you're like seeing things, you're like walking around all day. It is a nightmare when you walk in and you start to shift because it just, it really hurts. So it really saves you from that as well, which is really nice. The quality is really lovely, not too thick, just the layers together seem a little bit thicker. I'm gonna be able to do a lot with this one piece. It does come in other colors if this one isn't your vibe, as with all of my videos, I do leave the links down below to everything. So if you want to click on it, you'll be able to have a proper look at the other colours that they do as well in case you want to go and shop other colours. But yeah, very impressed by this. Love, love, love this like slinky, comfy material. And I think this is going to be worn all the time. Sticking with like the same kind of quality, same kind of material. I've got two of the bandos from Pull and Bear. Now, I have had bandos before from Pull and Bear. I never know how to say that word, bando, bando. I've had them from Pull and Bear before and I've absolutely loved them. I think they're so figure hugging they sit really nicely on your body like they're just the perfect day-to-day -day piece and they're so small so again they fold up really nicely however i do not dislike these at all i put this on it's very comfortable nice and stretchy easy i got it in a set of two so this came in a pack the other ones i bought separately which is why they might be a little bit different but i got it in the black and i got it in the white and it is just this like cropped it's pretty cropped i'd say it sits maybe where it just hits my belly button obviously band style at the top it just seems to fit me a little bit weird like it seems to have a little bit more room at the top it's not as figure hugging it's got a little bit of room at the bottom as well it seems to just have more material than the other one and that's not to say that i'm not going to keep this because i do like the way that this fits me as well i just think the other one maybe sits a little bit more flattering it just is more flattering i think more comfortable with this one i feel like maybe i'm going have to worry a little bit about it gaping and i don't know if that's just me getting the wrong size i don't know if i should maybe have sized down i stuck to the same size i did for the other ones and i thought this was the exact same so like i said it came in the black and the white i think there was also other color combinations but i just wanted like staple classic colors that are going to go with everything to take away with me and i'm just not overly impressed by the silhouette on these I don't hate it. I think the quality is really nice. It's double lined again. It's really lovely and stretchy. The white one's only double lined actually on the front side. I don't know if this one is as well. Yeah, it is. It's only double lined on one side, but that's all you need it to be. But I'd say the white one, if you've got a bra underneath, like it's really going to have to be a nude one because if not, you can be able to see through it a little bit. I just feel like the old ones, like the other ones that I've got, fit me a little bit better. But I am going to keep these. They're still going to be a good little classic to go to. They sit really nice. They're a really nice length. They're comfy. They go with everything. They're great 
great for day or night. Again, this is a piece you can dress up or dress down, which is great. I was just a little bit disappointed because I wished that it fit me the exact same as the other one because I sort of just wanted to get like a fresh new set to take away with me. But it's not the end of the world. I can deal with it. I live with it. And I'm still going to be able to style these really nicely. So I am going to keep them both. Now, this I had really, really high hopes for. Really high hopes. And I'm so sad because it just... It just hasn't worked for me the way that I wanted it to. I may still keep this. I may just wear it slightly different. But I got myself one of the knitted cardigans. I've seen this like trend everywhere at the minute where people are putting like a little top on jeans and then a cardigan over the top and it looks really really cute or just wearing a cardigan on its own this little like thin one with little buttons and then having jeans on with it and it looks so lovely however this one for me was just a little bit too cropped but if that's what you're going for, I think it's great. I think it's a really nice cropped length. It's not too cropped. It's not like literally under boob kind of style. Like it is a really nice cropped height. The buttons are really nice. It buttons up really well. The quality feels there. It's thick without being too heavy and too of a wintry, big, chunky, thick knit. It is like a still a fan knit, but still really nice, good quality. I feel like this is going to wash really well as well. I love the neckline. Obviously, you'll see it a little bit better on the try-on, but it's not like too wide or literally like choking yet. It's like a really nice, comfortable neckline. But I did all the buttons up on this and it had like those gapey bits, you know, where it's the gaps in where the buttons like split open. And I never struggle with that because I have no boobs, so there's nothing pushing it out, if that makes sense. And these were just gaping open, which was a shame. So I know that I can't wear it like that. The only other way I think I could wear it is if I just did the top button up. The only thing about that is I do really like that when I see people style it like that. I think it looks really cool. However, I just think that's the only way that I can ever wear this piece, which kind of lays it down a little bit. I did stick true to size. Maybe if I sized up a little bit more, it would be okay and it would fit me a little bit better. But I just think for a girl that doesn't really have much going on in this region, like if I move my body at all, the gaps were quite big and I feel like it shouldn't really do that. So that disappointed me a little bit. I wish it was slightly longer because I feel like some tops I couldn't really wear with it because it'd just be too short with it and just look a little bit weird. So if you are looking for a knitted cardigan and you want to wear it just open like this, I do think that it would be really nice, especially if you're looking for a cropped one. I'd maybe suggest sizing up if you do have a bigger chest just because I think it may be a little bit gapy if not on you. But apart from that, I do really like it. I love the colour of it. I like the thickness of it. The arms are a really nice length. They don't like come in too much as well. They just come in really nicely at the the end very comfortable i must say it is very very comfortable and i feel like it's just like a nice extra layer especially for this time of year where it's not really warm yet and you get colder days and then the sun comes out and it feels warmer i feel like this is just like a nice extra layer to add that you can easily take on and off i feel like i'm really split in this pull and bear haul but like I said, I am going to be honest with you. Some things I absolutely love and some things I do like, but I'm just not in love with. And like I said, I'm going to be honest with you. If I'm not in love with something, you'll know about it. So the next thing that I got is a pair of like rustic style linen trousers. I am in love with these. They're maybe slightly on the longer side, but only ever ever so slightly on me which is great because i'm a very petite girl so things can absolutely drown me they have a really nice drawstring waist which is great actually moves which is amazing because sometimes they don't move and that drives me crazy like i'd rather have no drawstring at all than a fake drawstring it drives me crazy when it doesn't actually wear so it's very easy to cinch yourself in super flattering nice long length and um, they're just quite like straight slash wide leg i'd say they're not like really 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 wide leg but they're not tight at all they're a really nice comfortable length like i said they're linen so they're not the thickest material but they're not see-through at all the only thing i will say when you see it on the try and clip is that they definitely definitely need an iron apart from that they're great they do have pockets which is another thing for me that makes me a little bit sad i do wish that they came with pockets but it's not the end of the world it is a linen material anyway and sometimes if i put my phone or anything in linen it can be a little bit too heavy for it anyway so i don't fully mind that with trousers like this it did come in multiple colors but i just went for this really nice like gray slash beigey turn i just think it's gonna work really really well with so many other things that i've got this is the perfect like traveling piece it's great from going place to place because you're still comfy light it's good because obviously i'm going to australia i'm expecting it to be hot but it's good for days where it's not going to be really, really warm. And um, if there's like a storm or anything like that, you've got to prepare for 
having pieces to wear if it's a little bit colder so this is great for that and like we're going to New Zealand which I think is going to be a little bit colder so like times like that these are going to be great I think it's good to have like a couple of pairs of trousers packs these are great for taking in a backpack because they're not too thick they're going to go with everything again you can maybe dress these up a little bit but they are more of like a daytime piece I'd say but even in like where was it like Berlin it was like the middle of summer and it was a colder day and I had to buy a pair of trousers like this just to keep myself a little bit warmer and they became one of my favourite pairs of trousers that I wore in the UK all summer long so yeah very very happy with these think they're going to be great I've already got a few trousers in this sort of style so I know that they work for me and yeah very excited by these then the last thing that I've got to show you is a pair of nice wide leg joggers now I already have a pair of grey wide leg joggers who doesn't at this point but I've worn them to death and they're a little bit too long for me so they've got like a bit of you know like a trail of light I don't know you know when you just wear them out and about and they go like a little bit darker because you have just worn them so much and because they're too long for me they sort of trail on the floor a little bit so I wanted to get myself a fresh pair and I do think that these are perfect like maybe maybe slightly longer but I do like them to just like hit the floor which these do but then obviously when I've got shoes on it's going to be a little bit higher which is nice I think they're a better length than the ones that I've already got they're a really nice quality they're not really really thick but again not see-through at all they are wide legged ones without being like too wide and like ridiculously wide they're just like the perfect wide leg width does that make sense you know what I mean and then again drawstring that actually works which is great these are pockets which are really nice I think that these are gonna be like the perfect airport thing to wear because it's not too thick if it is a colder day I can chuck these on again with like a little crop top and still be nice and warm like I can still wear these without being like way 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 too hot or if it's like a colder night these will be nice to chuck on but they're not too thick to the point where if I put these on I'm gonna I'm gonna be like I've in heat struck. So I feel like these are a contender to wear to the airport. They're just basic. They go with everything. They're very, very comfortable. The second that I put them on, I was like, I do not want to take these off. So after this video is done, I'm going to be chucking these straight back on. But if you're a petite girl, maybe like five foot three, five foot four, five foot five, these are going to be like a nice length, but hitting the floor. And then if you're taller, I still think that these will work for you, but they'll just be a little bit higher. These are around £20, which isn't bad at all. Great quality. Love that it's got an actual drawstring that works. Really nice length for me. Exactly what I wanted. And yeah, I'm very, very happy with these. And I can't wait to just literally chuck them back on right now. So that is everything that I got from Pull and Bear. I really do hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and do subscribe down below so you don't miss any other videos. And I will see you very soon.